Well, hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to print on the Red River pre-scored greeting card stock. And this particular stock is 62.5 by nine inches. And it comes pre-scored so that you can just fold them right down the score line, do a little burnishing on the edge, and it'll give you a nice crisp fold that you cannot attain by any other method other than pre-scoring your material. This comes already pre-scored. So let's go ahead and go to Lightroom on the computer and I'll show you how to set this up to be able to print perfect note cards and greeting cards on gorgeous Red River Aurora Art White paper. Alrighty, so here we are in front of Lightroom and any version of Lightroom will work for this. I am using, however, 2015 CC. So we're gonna go to Page Setup we're going to choose our printer in this case it is the R3000 but it could be any other Epson or Canon for that matter and I already have my custom size prepared but I'm going to show you how I do that you're going to go into your properties user defined type in 6.25 for the short dimension n9 and then give it a name and hit OK when you give it a name name we just call it name for now this option will light up and you hit save we've already done that so no need to do that now make sure you have color adjustment turned off have your quality setting to whatever you want it to be in this case my paper is red river aurora white so it says that i need to use ultra premium presentation matte as the paper choice and of course matte black ink now, once we have that set up and that size chosen, it will show up, but it will not show up in this manner. It'll show up center in the middle. So what we need to do is set up the parameters to allow us to center an image in a specifically sized cell so that when you fold it in half, it has a quarter inch border, for instance, all the way around. And the way I did that was to set a 0 0.25 border all the way around the paper. And then I chose rows, two, columns, one. And then the cell size, four by 5.75. And that creates this size cell. Now, if I do not zoom to fill, as you can see, I will end up with probably a half inch border on the top and bottom. If that doesn't bother you, then go ahead and do that. But if it does, zoom in to fill and that'll solve that. Now let's go ahead and fill the image with this image for the test. And then we're going to go to print. Make sure you have your correct ICC profile. Aurora Fine Art White. Standard for sharpening and matte as your media type. And then you just simply hit print. And that's it. Now let's go over to the printer and watch our print come out. And here goes the print. Here you go, this is what the print looks like. Now it's a simple matter of just folding it right at the crease. So you're gonna carefully fold it and you can get a burnishing tool and just go around the edge here in order to make that really nice and crisp. So there is your finished note card or greeting card. And it's as simple as that. These come in different sizes and of course you just need to create a template or download their own templates which they make available for you. Now you could also do a stroke around the cell and that will give you a nice separation and actually show you that quarter inch border if you so wish. Sometimes I just like to leave them as plain as possible like that. So that's it. You can create beautiful note cards, beautiful greeting cards with your own personal photos. As you can see here, and it takes no time at all to do so as you saw. All right. So if you like this, please share, please like, please subscribe. Till the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.